So first what you're going to want to make sure to do is make sure that your car is on a flat stable surface away of any oncoming traffic. And then you're going to want to make sure to pull up the parking brake so that your car doesn't roll away while you're changing the tire. So then you're going to have to find the spare tire. On most cars it's in the trunk under this little panel with the tire iron and the jack. So this is just a spare temporary tire. It's a lot thinner than normal tires. It's only meant to go not too fast and not too far. This is the jack that comes with most cars. It's just a cheap jack to lift your car up. To lift the car, you're going to have to put the jack in the right place. Most car companies put little notches underneath the car right here that can support the jack. Next, you have to lift the jack so it's supporting the weight of the car without taking the car off the ground. It's easiest to do this just by your hand, by twisting it until it hits the underside of the car. So then, you have to loosen the lug nuts just to break the resistance. You don't want to take them off all the way. To loosen them, you have to spin it counterclockwise, usually to the left, and most of the time lug nuts are going to be on here really tight, so you are going to have to use a lot of effort to take them off. After loosening the lug nuts, you're going to have to put the car up into the air. This hook shaped piece is just an extension to make it easier for jacking. And then it hooks in to the tire iron right here. To do it, you just twist the jack until the car gets off the ground. You don't have to have the tire off that much off the ground, just enough so there this can slide freely under. Since we've already broke the resistance of the lug nuts, they should be e e pretty easy to take off. You can just do it with your hands like this. Now it is very important that you don't lose the lug nuts because then you're not going to be going anywhere. And then you're going to have to put the spare tire on. Make sure all the little holes are lined up with the bolt so it slides on just like that. Then you have to put, replace the lug nuts back on the spare tire. To put them on, you have to make them go in a star pattern to evenly distribute the weight of the tire. Then you have to lower the car back down so the jack is supporting the weight of the car but the tire is also on the ground. And then since in the previous step, since the lug nuts were only hand tight, you're going to want to tighten them the rest of the way so your tire doesn't fly off while you're driving. And you're also going to want to follow the same pattern you used while hand tightening them. And then, since the tire's already on, you just have to lower the jack all the way and pull it out. And then you have to put the flat tire back in your trunk and take it to the close auto center to get it repaired. Now, before you go speeding away, make sure you take the parking brake off. So this tire is only for, again, temporary use, for emergencies only. 
You don't want to go too far, maybe 50 miles max, and you don't want to go too fast. Looks like we're good to go.